Hi you guys and welcome back to the Creme Kitchen. Now this isn't the Creme Kitchen that we are normally in. We are at our lake house on Lake Ponset. There's not a lot of options around us as far as places to go get groceries. Um, it, it does take a little bit of a drive. So I kind of went into my pantry, looked at what I had and decided since everybody's baking now, we would make some homemade focaccia. That being said, I know for some reason, oddly enough, there's a shortage of flour. I think I heard there's a shortage of yeast crazy. It's kind of nice when you have these staple ingredients in your home to make something fun like this, warm and satisfying. And who doesn't like focaccia or bread in general? I want to get started, but I do want to say one thing. I'm going to give you a little clue about yeast. Buy in bulk. I know you can get it at some of those big box stores like Sam's and Costco. What you do is you put it in a Ziploc bag and it's kind of spilled over as you can see but it doesn't matter because you keep it in the freezer and anytime you need it you just bring it out put it back in you can use it straight from the freezer too which makes it really really fabulous key ingredients in this it's going to be flour it's going to be yeast we're going to feed it with a little bit of honey and then some warm water to activate it so let's get started first thing first i'm going to show you what type of flour i like to use it's the chef flour okay Double zero. You don't have to, but I use this for my pizza crust as well. It's fabulous. What we want to start with is a cup and a half of warm water. Don't be afraid to use really warm water. If you put lukewarm water in a cold bowl or a room temperature bowl, it's going to get cold really, really quickly. So I always like to make sure it's just a little bit warmer than you think you might need. Since we're getting it in bulk, either use one packet or two and a quarter teaspoons. Add that to your water. And then I want you to add a couple tablespoons, you can eyeball it, of honey to that. Yeast is really gonna like this. We're gonna eat it right up. That is just the worst. <laughs> We're just gonna gently stir everything together and then let the yeast do the magic. We have let our yeast activate now for about 10 to 12 minutes. It did beautifully. Take a look. Nice foamy top to it. Perfect. Okay. What I want you to do next is take two cups of flour and just gently put them on top of your yeast mixture. Once you get it in the bowl, I want you to kick start it on low and get it mixed together till it's combined. Once that starts looking really combined, we're gonna add our olive oil. So we're gonna use a quarter of a cup. Once that starts looking combined, I want you to stop your mixer and put another cup of flour in. With this recipe, you're gonna use anywhere from about three and a half to four cups. But remember, we have three cups in there. I'm gonna switch from the paddle to my kneader. My kneader? My kneader, yeah. So now we have our dough hook on there. I want you to just start by adding a half a cup and we'll see where that takes us. I think we're good with a half a cup. Now if it looks like it needs a little bit of moisture, one thing that Fakasha loves olive oil. I'm going to drizzle just a little bit more olive oil in there. That was about a tablespoon. Look how nicely it's forming into a ball on our dough hook. That's when you know it's getting nice and smooth. It's done. We're going to drizzle a little bit more olive oil over the top, roll it around, cover it in plastic wrap, and then we're going to put it somewhere draft free and nice and warm to let it proof. Let's take a look at our dough. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to proof. You want it to double in size, okay? This is how we do it. This is how we do it. This is what you're looking for. Fabulous, 
focaccia. Okay. Now we, as a topping, we're going to use sea salt, which will give it a nice yummy flavor. This is why we didn't put any salt in the dough. Now, if you didn't want to use sea salt as a topping, I would go ahead and put about two teaspoons of kosher salt in your flour mixture when you add it to your yeast mixture. Cookie sheet time. I keep saying Fakasha loves olive oil. Put about two tablespoons of olive oil on here. I know it seems like a lot, but those of you who were in my Italian cooking class and we did the focaccia with the frozen bread dough, you know I preach it. Olive oil, olive oil, olive oil. So all I'm doing now is stretching it out. Once you get it to this point, we're gonna let it rest. 15 minutes, 10 to 15, that's all you need. While we're letting it rest, you may as well preheat your oven to 425 degrees. We have now let our focaccia dough rest for 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna put our toppings on and then we're gonna get it in our preheated oven. Basically, you could put anything on there for toppings, but this is a garlic parmesan focaccia. First things first, more olive oil, yeah. Two more tablespoons go on top. Clean hands are your best tool. I want you to spread it around and put some more indentations in there with your fingers. Next, we have our garlic. You guys know I buy this in the bulk. I use so much of it. So let's get some garlic out and what I wanna do is slice it. Slice as much as you want, as much or as little, and just sprinkle. Before I add my Parmesan, I'm gonna put my sea salt flakes on. And then our Parmesan cheese. Okay, and into our 425 degree oven, this goes. I have my timer set for 15 minutes. Two minutes left, let's take a look and see what our focaccia is doing. That looks incredible. There's only one other thing I want to do to this focaccia. Top it off with some more olive oil. Yummy. Are we going to try it together? Yeah. All right. There's just one thing we need to do, or I should say one thing we need to have before we try this. So let me go get it. This goes really, really well with focaccia. <laughs> it cleanses the palate. Yeah? So cheers to us. Cheers to the lake house. Cheers to carbs. We like carbs. Mm -hmm. okay. You guys, thank you so much for joining us in our kitchen. I really hope you like our new format. We're kind of just deciding that this is the way to go. You know us, you've been in our kitchen for a long time and it's just been really fun. So if you have any questions about anything you have in your pantry, your fridge, what do you do with it? Maybe a recipe you might need from me or ideas, just let me know. Like, subscribe, I hope to hear from you and I hope you are all keeping safe.